Lost with that. Yo, what's happening? Thanks for watching. I'm Nick. This is Wales in the Movies. Here with a reaction video like I'm doing these days, which is fun. And um, I'm going to point you towards an S4C television documentary, which I'm guessing you've heard about if you're watching this. I know this is like primarily about movies and TV and not political documentary, but I get a feeling that what we've seen this week and it premiered, premiered on Sunday, it was on S4C, S Pedwal F on Sunday. And I, ju I just have the feeling that in the future, 20 years from now, we may look back on this documentary with more importance and more reverence than, than we're currently doing. So, uh, and come along, it's called Priv Boy Dog and Pandemic. It just means first minister in a pandemic. You're probably aware of that. And it's just a documentary crew, probably only a couple of dudes. Following First Minister, the Welsh Labour First Minister, who I'm not a huge fan of, Mark Drakeford, uh, doing his job during the last 12 months. He's only been First Minister for two years, a year of that's been a pandemic. And it's just, you know, from a documentary angle, it's a solid documentary, you know, good pathos, not too like pandering, um, it's not too spoon fed. Um, it's directed by a guy called Stefan Morgan, who I believe won a BAFTA Cymru a couple of years ago, whose mum is Sharon Morgan, the Welsh actress. It's, it's a well-made documentary, and you can't help but like the First Minister, even though I don't like his party and his politics. It's hard not to like him a little bit more after watching this. But the reason I want to talk about it just briefly is that, like I say, I think it's going to be maybe in years gone by, something we look back on, as maybe like a John Redwood kind of moment and Google that if you don't know what I'm talking about. Because um, there's, there's two moments really, I think, that everyone's talking about. The first of is that Mark Drakeford comes off the, the phone to, from a phone call with Boris Johnson and he just kind of shakes his head and, and says, oh my, he really is awful, isn't he? Now what's remarkable is that that's been said on a, on camera diplomatically what's remarkable is that's being said on camera when he knows a camera's on him and he knows this is going to be made into a documentary and then it's gone through the edit it hasn't been left on the floor that that footage of the first minister of wales at such a volatile and sensitive time has said that about someone who we all know is awful but it's just remarkable that's been allowed to have been that he said that and then allowed it to go through on the edit, which I'm sure he would have had a say on. So there's that, he said that. Um, and other things he said mainly, which was he said that we don't really care about our relationship with the UK because we know that they don't care about us. And then contextualised this, recontextualised that by then saying that we do care about our relationship with Scotland because we think that we may have left Scotland down by this, some of the restrictions he put in place before Christmas. And that again, that is just, we've had a devolved government for 20 years. Obviously things are changing at the moment. It's a tumultuous time. People are talking about independence and even people within labor and even some Tories and blah, blah, blah. But the fact that he said these things in a documentary that he knows is going to go out and then the fact that that hasn't been cut from said documentary and been put out now is remarkable, I think. And I think we should be making a much bigger deal of this. Um, for example, now this week in the, the House of Commons, House of Parliament, whatever they flip and call that place, the um, Secretary of State for Wales, Simon Hart, a man who's very existence like you know uh, on an employment basis um just goes to show what kind of the, the the control mentality that you know westminster and the british government has over wales the fact that his job still exists but he's been moaning about it in parliament today bringing out the fact that this has been aired on television and how disrespectful it is and so forth and in a way i kind of agree with him actually because it is unbelievable that he said it but I'm going to put you towards the, direct, the documentary. It's worth 50 minutes of your time, Welsh people. Like it is well directed. It's uh, it's well edited. Here it is here on um, on S4C on the the Click app 
on S4. So you can get, of course, uh, subtitles in Seisneg in English if you want, which I needed. And, and it's, a, it's a good, solid documentary. It's just, I think I'm going to put you towards it because it's watchable. But primarily, I think that in 20 years' time, we could be looking back on this and saying, that was actually quite a big moment, wasn't it? And I won't be lying to you to tell you that I hope we are looking back on this in 20 years' time because diplomatically, I think this is pretty big. And a notable moment in Welsh moving picture, TV, documentary, and certainly S4C history. Give it a watch. I'm Nick. This is Wells in the Movies. Ta-da now.